Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Elias and welcome back to Stoneblock. In the last episode, we were working on getting a ton of compressed cobblestone, um, which I have enough for. Uh, and we were also working with chickens. Of course we were. Chickens, chickens, chickens. Always with the chickens. Um, so I am currently in the process of collecting a lot more chickens. And... Yeah, um, first thing to note is we have three now that are 10-10-10. Um, I don't think any of these guys are either, um, but we're just slowly getting more and more chickens. And I'm starting to do a little bit more um, work with, like, oh, uh, for example, uh, one thing that I'm trying to work on doing is uh, get new chickens. And I'm just making more and more chickens. So as you can see, I've got almost everything laid out. We still need, uh, I don't remember how many are here. There's like, it's less than 20. It's like 17. Yeah, 17 um, manufactured and maybe 15 uh, miscellaneous uh, chicken nests left that we need to make. Uh, and then we don't have to worry about it. Now we're gonna have to come back here and organize everything um, and start like moving things to where they need to go and all that kind of stuff. I wanna keep a stack of chicken eggs of each type. We gotta decide where we're gonna put those and how that's gonna handle and all that kind of stuff. So there, there's a lot left to do, but um, ooh, black quartz, that is something we're going to get one of as soon as we can so i've kind of rearranged this so that we can breed more chickens and i'm going to leave the chickens in here if um there's not space and i want to start potentially um one getting some new chickens and also breeding some new chickens so uh that's the idea now before we do too much um we're gonna take uh a couple of eggs and I'll dump that stuff in there uh, and we're gonna make some new chickens but um, we're also going to make two quintuple compressed cobblestones ah uh, that took it actually took quite a while to do that um so the chickens i want to make um silky jewel um we'll get to that in a second um the chickens i want to go ahead and make is the lapis blue and the red egg now they're both pretty straightforward. Um, we're going to need a little bit more red dye, so let's get a rose and some lapis, which we conveniently have exactly enough. Um, so they're out to have a chance to spawn. I don't know if there is a chance that it won't, um, but we'll find out. So. Um, I'm going to focus heavily on the dye chickens first, just because those are kind of the ones that we're going to need to make. And I'm going to try to make all the recipes on camera, um, but all the crossbreeding and stuff I will probably do uh, off camera because it's easier. But we have a red and a blue chicken. Um, we're going to... One, I want to see... Aha, you moved. Can I put you there? I can. Is that going to actually hatch? Yes, cool. Um, that's exactly what I wanted to see. Let's take you out. Because I need to do some other things. Let's get some Mr. American Chickens going. And I've stopped feeding them, uh, feeding the chickens too many, like, seeds. Because there's not really that much need for it. Uh, and as you can see, we're getting close with the flint chickens. So the chickens are getting close uh, to getting tin tin tins, and then we'll just continue to make more and more and more. Um, but enough of the chickens for now. Let's head to. Okay, I said enough. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and get the black quartz chicken, the second one, going. Uh, and there we go. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to let them kind of grow up on their own because it's easier and cheaper on my seeds. Um, we'll worry about that later. Now, there's a couple other things we could do, and we're going to get to that after a bit. Um, but first things first, we're going to make a silky jewel. Now, silky jewel is just some silky cloth, and we need more gold. 
Um, okay. Let's pop down here for a second. And I have a bunch of gold armor. Um, do I have any up here? Yes. Let's grab that instead. And we're going to smelt this up so we can get some gold. Um, not quite where I meant to place that, but whatever. Um, that is a pickaxe head. I want a gold ingot. And that should be fine. So, um, this is going to smelt up some gold. We'll get a little bit of gold from that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make a silky gem, jewel, whatever, um, so that we can put silk touch on our shovel, of all things. Um, the main reason is I want uh, grass. I want grass blocks. Uh, and so that is a nice and easy way to get it. But we're in stone block. Where is all the grass? Well, that's in the mining dimension. And so let's go ahead while we're waiting for this stuff. We need to make um, two things. One, we need to make a new flint and steel. And then we need to make a stone pickaxe. And then we can make the mining multi-tool. Does not work if you have a flint and steel that's been used. So there is the mining multi-tool. Now this thing is pretty cool. Um, does it actually talk about how to do this stuff? No, of course not. Um, does it say anything in the quest book? We need 10, 10 portal frames. So let's grab 10 stone and turn these into, I really hope this has enough uses. Um, is it not stone? Stone brick. Let's, let's go with stone brick. Do I have any stone brick lying around? No. Um, do I have a chisel? No, I have it in my inventory. Let's use the chisel uh, and let's turn that into stone bricks. And then presumably this will work. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the mining multi tool that completed that quest. Cool. Now we get to go to the mining dimension and we're going to do something exactly like this, except we're going to do it. Um, I had to offset it, so let's do it like right here, and then we'll, I kind of wish that I had put this over this way so that these guys could be closer, but whatever. Yeah, unfortunate, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Anyways, um, the mining dimension portal, uh, is just like the nether portal. Um, same shape and all that. Uh, if my mouse wheel would cooperate, uh, it looks cool. But there is one big difference. One, you light it with the mining multi-tool. And to go through the portal, like it says, you have to sneak. Um, not a big deal. Get some upgrades, why not? Um, now, what is the big deal with the mining dimension? Well, we'll get there in a little bit. Um, I don't think we'll need the mining multi-tool, but let's... Let's just take it just in case. Um, I, I don't think we'll need it. But what's the deal with the money dimension? Well, basically, it's going to be a place that is eternally day and presumably has a bunch of ores, which is what I'd like to look for. Um, now, the thing that I'm specifically looking for is prosperity shards. Prosperity shards are amazing. Now, if we just go here to the tool station, should be able to put a silk touch on our cheap stone shovel. I don't know why you'd want to do this, but we want to get some grass blocks. It's for a chicken, so we might as well. Um, is there anything else we're going to want? For right now, no. Okay, let's get rid of that, and we don't need anything from that right now. Okay. So let's look at our chickens one last time. There are so many chickens here. Uh, and they will slowly over time grow up. Um, I'm starting to work with the iron chickens as well. Kind of cool. Um, so, we're going to go to the mining dimension. What is it that we are looking for other than prosperity shards and grass blocks? Honesty, on honesty, honestly, nothing. Nothing right now. Um, we are going to go through, and presumably it will be eternally day, we'll be on the surface somewhere. And there will be a lot of grass, maybe some animals, maybe some other things. Uh, the mining dimension is a really nice place 
to go mining. Now, usually I would like to do vein mining. Vein mining is like the best thing. Also, what is tiny progressions? Oh, cool. There is a, wow, that is a nice big lava pool. Um, okay, so this is a fairly empty area. Um, first thing we're gonna do is ignore that and put a waypoint for the portal. Uh, just because it's good to have that. Uh, now there are some chance cubes. There are caves. And mobs can spawn. There's bees as well. Um, so mobs can spawn. Um, I don't remember if mobs can actually spawn from... Uh, oh, that's copper. I thought that was uranium. Uh, I don't actually know if mobs can spawn from just darkness uh, in this dimension. I will kind of try to light things up a little bit. Um, or if they only spawn from like spawners and stuff like that. But yeah, this is the mining dimension. There's not much here. And that's kind of the point. Um, it's eternally day. It's always noon. And... Why does it look like there's bees everywhere? Now, this does have forestry, doesn't it? Yeah, there there should be bees. But I don't see any of the hives. But I'm seeing, like, bee particles. Maybe there's something up with that? I don't know. Anyways, yeah, that's really strange. Um, there is a bunch of things here. We have clay ore, which is kind of cool. Uh, there is obviously a lot of caves, um, but usually the best way to kind of handle this whole thing, what is this? Sticky ore. So this is slime, which is kind of cool. Bauxite, aka aluminum. There's iron, copper, everything we could want. Um... But one of the big things is trying to figure out, yeah, there, there's bee particles. There's a hive. So I wonder if the hives are hidden, like underground. But we're gonna want some grass blocks, um, just a handful. So let's do something like this. And that's a little over a stack, that's fine. Um, we have, it looks like some oil, which is cool. Um, but not really anything we care about too much. Uh, so yeah, there's not much here. So what I usually like to do, and this is not anything different than, uh, we're not going to do things different. Um, I usually like to vein mine. Vein mine is usually the best option. And since we have this awesome prosperity pickaxe, we can kind of double our money. Um, but the problem with that is we're gonna run into the problem of we gotta get out. And that's not the easiest thing in the world sometimes. So, uh, first thing we're gonna do, it can also technically rain here, I guess. I realize that's a beacon, not, we're gonna, we're gonna go check that out in just a moment. Um, let's, let's put our stuff back and then we can, we can see what we've got. Um, so vein miners are, vein mining is great. Um, but the problem with it is there is a good chance that we will kind of, uh, I don't want to put this, uh, get stuck. There's a good chance of getting stuck. Um, and so I usually like to have flight of some sort to help, um, chickens. Are they in a block? Um, what is all right, that is weird. Um, we're gonna just ignore that for a moment. 
Um, that might be a visual bug. That might be an actual bug. I don't know. We're going to ignore that. Um, let's grab two grass blocks. Let's go ahead and do this, I guess. And we want, I think we only need a single egg. No. Um, but luckily we have basically infinite eggs. So there's one. I wonder if I grab some seeds. If anything will be different. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Um, is that another, those are two normal chickens. Okay. I must've got one. I wasn't paying too much attention. Uh, let's pop downstairs for just a second. This is why I like keeping extra eggs. Um, because if we're going to have a problem with the, the chickens like despawning or something. Um, it looks like they're still producing. I just don't know where they're at. <laughs> okay, so we have the grass blocks. Um, we're going to use those to get the boop beep chickens. Um, that's just a funny name. But uh, let's go ahead and grab a stack of seeds. Yeah, this is a little bit concerning, not going to lie. But hopefully it's just a visual, visual thing and not anything else. I want to see if we can... Oh, okay, we can just turn them in right away. So we have boop beep chickens. Um, I'll leave those guys alone. We don't need to use seeds. All right, so let's grab a bunch of cobblestone. Um, a couple stacks so that we can kind of get out of things if needed. Um, now we have good armor. Uh, can we get a shield? Do we have a shield? I don't know that I've ever made a shield. In this, we have a shield, a diamond shield. Okay, if we so choose. Let's let's go explore that one thing. And hopefully the chickens will be fine. Uh, they should be. Oh, I like that it gets rid of the shield if you're not um, using your sword. Not that we care too much because our sword is a little overpowered, but um, the whole point of accessing the mining dimension is so that we can get prosperity shards. I went to the wrong thing. And I, something just died. I don't know what it was. Okay. I went to the wrong portal. Whoops. <laughs> oh, man. It's fine. You know, I, I'm going to go check on the chickens. I wonder if it's mining dimension or if it's changing dimensions. Oh, nope. They're all back. Okay. With the health bar that's there, I'm not too worried about them, like, not being there at all. But it's still a little bit of concern. So I, I'm going to see if it's maybe the changing dimensions to the mining dimension. Or even using the portal is causing issues. Um, that's probably what it is. But let's head over to this mysterious thing of mystery. And see what it is. Because I don't know. Uh, it looks like a structure of some sort. There's loot. But there might also be badness um okay so we have stone bricks chiseled stone bricks environmental accumulator evil craft all right this is stuff i don't know too much about um let's get our normal pickaxe let's just switch those so i've never really messed around with evil craft so i have no idea like anything about it but there is an ender sack there's some cool stuff in here um automatic torches um emerald sword staff of traveling ender book that probably lets you teleport okay so we're probably gonna see stuff like that every once in a while um but yeah, with just walking around, it's going to be an absolute pain. Um, now, one thing I'm noticing, that I don't see any passive mobs here. Um, I think that is something that can be turned off in config files and all that kind of stuff. Um, but let's just go over this direction. Um, I see a little bit of like a ravine or at least a mark in the ground. Um, I don't think it's going to go very deep. 
but we can change that uh, if we wanted to. It might be easier to go and find an actual patch of stone. And then what we can do, bees, lots of bees, cool. Um, so what we can do, this is a little bit dangerous, so we're going to stand on something that's not stone, and we're going to mine. That did not work. Um, this should work. It is not. Hmm. Because I know we could, you know, destroy dirt, get sand. Uh, and I have actually gotten some prosperity shards from this. So um, I know that it works. But it doesn't look like we vein mine stone, which makes sense. Um, I doubt we can even do it with our normal pickaxe. There's hives everywhere. They're hidden. They're in the ground. Okay. So vein miner is not going to work. Um, that's usually what I do. So we don't have to worry about that as much then. Uh, I kind of forgot that vein mine isn't going to work in stone block on stone because it's stone. And that's a horrible, horrible idea. So we could do things like we could probably vein mine andesite. No, all stone types are not allowed. I guess they are still stone. Uh, okay. Hmm. So how are we going to get lots of ore? Was there something I saw over here? It's just a tree. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and start heading back then. Um, we definitely need to get some... We need to get prosperity shards. That's, that's the big thing. Um, we are going the right way, right? My point. I'll just leave that one on. Okay, so I guess what we could do is we could just dig down and have like an actual mine. Um, does prosperity ore, does it ever tell us like biomes, blacklisted? Okay, so that's just a laser. I don't know if that matters, if that like actually tells us anything, but I guess what we can do is over here by the portal, we'll just go ahead and make a little bit of a downward staircase. And go from there, I guess. Um, so that isn't going to work because of all this stuff. Um, we should be able to get a bunch of dirt like that. Alright, so we've been here before, but obviously it's going to be better. Let's actually switch and use our uh, flux board because this is a lot better of a thing to use. And... We can just kind of head downwards. Um, and that's the idea. So this would be the staircase. Let's do this. And we'll get plenty of ores and whatnot. Um, but we're just going to dig down. I don't think it matters, like I said, about mobs because I don't believe anything really spawns here. But um, yeah, this is gonna give us a lot of stuff in our inventory. And at some point, we might be able to actually find some cool things. One, we're gonna need some dark ore, I believe. Um, we're also gonna need some light. And I can always make this nice and clean and nice and easy to maneuver with stairs and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I will eventually, but right now let's just get back up and that's fine. Um, what I want to do is I want to cut down a little bit 
just a single log so we can make a crafting table so we can compress some of the stuff. Ooh, eucalyptus. I didn't realize that's what it was. And it's going to have to be one of these, which is fine for right now. Um, so let's get the sand compressed and the cobblestone. Rest. Cool. And that should make things a little bit nicer. So, the question is, are we going to be able to find Prosperity Ore? Eventually, yes, we will. Um, now, the other question is, will we ever have to face mobs? Probably. Um, yeah, this is really annoying. I'm going to fix that sooner rather than later. Um, we just need to dig a little bit more. But... Uh, let's just keep on heading down and we might be, you know, I realize, um, I don't think, no, we can just do tunnels. Uh, we need to upgrade this if we want to do anything more. That was not prosperity or, uh, and then we might actually want to make, uh, the next tier of the flux boards just because it would be kind of useful lead uh, and then we can presumably dig um, better tunnels and all that kind of stuff uh, I don't know where exactly we're gonna be able to find what we're looking for but I also believe that um, it's not necessarily like limited. So what I mean by that is like um, the ore distribution is pretty even throughout the entirety of the mining dimension. That's the whole point of it. It's it's a dimension to go mining. We don't need any of the stone. We have plenty of stone back home. Um, so you know what? Let's let's go ahead and do that. Let's go back home. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade our flux bore and then. Um, from there, we will um, probably end the episode off and see what we can get into next time. So, um, first things first, let's go look at our chickens that are probably not there. Yeah, it is the Mining Dimensions portal. Um, so, just to get them back so I don't panic about it. Um, let's go through the nether real quick. And we'll come right, right back. So obviously digging in there is going to be, in the uh, mining dimension I should say, it is going to be kind of a pain um, because of just kind of the nature of digging large areas like that. Um, we're going to run into a lot of, oh how do I want to say this, we're going to run into a lot of things that are going to stop us from we're going to run into inventory problems, what I'm trying to say. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I was struggling with that. But that is okay. Um, so next is Signalum tier. We need Petrothium and a lot of Signalum. Okay. So Signalum, uh, we don't have any currently, but it was Copper. Uh, let's see, we're going to need eight. No, we're going to need six Signalum. Um, and so that is six, um, two silver and 20 redstone, which we do not have currently. Um, let's also take our diamond shield off. We don't really need that. So yeah, there is a lot of, um, problems with just going and mining. Um, but there are actually ores there, so it's kind of nice. Yeah, I'm going to have to fix that um, sooner rather than later, but it's fine. Okay, so do we have any redstone essence up here? No, but we can go ahead and get a little bit of redstone essence. Um... And then we can get the, the Signalum. So the other thing that we're going to need is um, Petrothium Dust. 
Now that is usually got um, like acquired from um, basils, basals, however you say it. Uh, we need that powder, and we can also get that with obsidian. Okay, so we just need a little bit of obsidian. I uh, don't know why that kicked me out of there, but it did. Okay, so I have the two obsidian. We're going to pulverize that. That'll give us four. We need to pulverize it again. Okay. So we're going to need some more obsidian, which, again, is not too much of a problem. That one, I know we have a lot of the essence. And there we go. Plenty of obsidian. Now we just need the redstone. So do we have five? And then eight. I think that's what we need. Nope, we need one more. Of course. Um, and that's something that we're going to deal with, by the way. When we start automating um, all of our crops and stuff. Um, we are going to have it so that we can do a lot of cool things. Alright, so there's that. Let's grab this. We need a little bit more uh, experience, potentially. But, um, maybe not. So it's 2 and 200. No, we should be fine. Okay, so that's just going to process. We just need a little bit more redstone. And then we should be able to get everything we need. So we'll need two of those, two of those. Uh, and then, yeah, that should be good. So what do we have for bags? Um, alchemical bags are really good. We don't have access to alchemical chests yet. That's not going to happen. Um, quantum bags. So diamond storage chest and then... Okay, I think I can handle that. So we're just going to need... Iron storage chest. Uh, gold storage chest. Diamond. And then... A bag. We're just going to go with white, because why not? Cool. So we don't need the watering can. We'll get rid of that. And now we have, presumably, a lot of storage. Yep. Cool. Uh, so that's something that we'll kind of keep an eye on once we're ready. Um, I'm sure there's other ways we could have done that. Um... But, I mean, there's the golden bag of holding. That's pretty good. There's storage bag. Simple bag that can hold anything. A portable chest. Cool. So, I mean, those are neat, but not really all that exciting. Uh, so we have our basalt powder. And was it actually two for one? It was. Okay. So we're going to need a little bit more. So it's one thing of obsidian for one. Um, we're also going to need just a little bit more experience, which I'm actually storing over here. Um, we can also add to levels. Uh, we can take XP out of there. And all sorts of things. So, really cool. So, let's get that going. And we have some redstone. Uh, let's go ahead and get this. Like so. This will get the last of the signalum. We can go ahead and make nothing right now. Um, we'll wait. But, yeah, redstone is something we don't have too much of. But we're going to go get more here in a moment probably. So let's go ahead and grab another seed and get back to getting more wheat. Um, I always get lost. 
when I come up this the elevators. Yeah, there's a bunch of chickens. We could probably do a lot of work with them. Um, I'm like I said, I'm gonna deal with that mostly off camera uh, because it's a little bit grindy. It takes a good bit of time, um, but this is almost done. And then we can get the flux spores. So there is better flux spores. Um, there's one more tier after that. It requires lumium and enderium. Now that isn't too awful to make. Um, enderium blend. There's an ender. Platinum and lead. Um, platinum can be a little bit of a pain though, I think. If... Oh, cool. So that's done. Um, if I'm not mistaken... So we can at least go ahead and get the petrothium dust, the signalum gear. Uh, let's grab our flux bore. And as soon as this is done, which it's taking its time, um, we can we can finish that. So um, lots of things to do. Now, is there anything else in here that we want to work on right now? Um, we need to go to the end. I would like to have flight before we do that, uh, and I think the way that we're probably going to end up getting flight is with the su uh, Supremium armor. Uh, this stuff right here. Supremium helmet, chest plate, leggings. Uh, requires Supremium ingots, which um, aren't bad once you get the prosperity shards, uh, and obviously all of the essence. And they require some nether stars. Um, but that's that's all uh, and nether stars are a lot easier to get than worrying about the dragon so um, yeah that's what we're gonna focus on anyways here is our flux bore signalum and now we can do a three by three by three ah and that's it okay so can I go back to the three by three do we have platinum? We have two platinum dust. I think that would be enough. All right, let, let's go for it. Let's fully upgrade the flux bore. Uh, so to get the next one, we're going to need um, six enderium. And I don't think we have that. So enderium base, we are going to need lead and platinum. We do have a good bit of lead. We're also going to need inner pearls, which is whatever. So let's smelt up the platinum. And if we want to make enderium base, it's 314. So something like this. And obviously, these machines are kind of awful but we take the enderium base and then we get some sand and that will make the enderium now the other thing we need to make is lumium we need three lumium now lumium is a lot easier it is um also in the alloy smelter silver tin and glowstone so glowstone Four silver and ten. So yeah, that's a lot easier. Um, okay, so we're gonna have eight. That's more than enough. Cool. That is going to take forever. Can we upgrade our alloy smelter um, to a normal one? We need to make dark. Steel or vibrant and end steel. Okay, we might be able to do this. So a simple power furnace and a simple alloy smelter. I could probably make a simple power furnace. Let's see if we can do that. Um, this episode's going a little bit long. Apologies, but okay. So simple power furnace requires simple machine. Um. Let's get some more of those. So simple 
uh, machine frame. Let's get the furnace. And I think that's pretty much it for this. No, what are we missing? Um, stone bricks and stone gears. So two stone gears and we'll just do some stone bricks. Okay. So there is a simple power furnace. Awesome. Uh, now for the alloy smelter itself, we need that with the alloy smelter that we have, the simple one. Um, we're gonna need two dark steel. Now dark steel we can get, it's obsidian, powder, and steel. So we'll need one, two, and then what? Um, we'll need like four. And so let's get some obsidian. And was it two or is it four and one? It is four, okay. So we just need to pulverize those, put that in there and wait. Now this is taking its time but we're going to have this in just a second. So the other thing we need is the industrial uh, machine frame, which requires industrial dye. So we're going to need some quartz. Uh, some quartz pulverized. One, two, three, four. Uh, we're also going to need, what is the stuff? Industrial. I wasn't expecting to make this, so apologies. Um, we need lapis powder and green dye, or granite green dye. I, I hate that stuff. Uh, let's see. Two green dye, two coal, and eggs, I guess, or slime. Slime works too. We have plenty of slime. All right, let's get that going. Let's get that. You know what? We're going to have this before we need anything else. Um, so let's get the pulverize that. Uh, we need organic black dye in the middle, which is just coal powder. Or charcoal powder would also work. And more eggs or slime. And then... Um, just crushed lapis, which we, strangely enough, do not have. Uh, so let's go ahead and make the Enderium gear. Um, do we have some lapis in here? We have a lot of things back there because the chickens are hiding. Um, I will fix that after a bit. No, wrong thing. Okay, so the blue chicken has not done anything yet, so we don't have any lapis. Um, lapis lazuli powder, crushed lapis, pulverizing lapis. Um, is there any other way? Not really. Okay. Well, this is done, so let's just get that taken care of. And we'll worry about making the upgrade later because I'm not going to worry about it right now. So um, <laughs> a lot of things I did was not needed. Uh, anyways, for this, we're just going to need three of aluminum, which is what will be done relatively soon. We have some dark steel. We're probably actually, no, we still have power. Um, there is the pulverized charcoal. And maybe we'll worry about making better machines another time. Um, that could be pretty good to do. So, we just need to wait for the Lumium, uh, which is about there. Uh, let's see if we can't fix the chickens. The chicken situation. All right. All you chickens. Come over here. Um, alternatively... No, give me my stone back. 
Oh, right, I forgot to do that part. Uh, you can still give me my stone back. Alternatively, you guys can just go over here. You move, please. All right. And chickens, chickens. Everybody get out from back there. Perfect. Okay. Um, and then I can fix this side too. Awesome. So, <laughs> whew. Chickens. Um, hopefully our Lumium is done by now and then we can finish this episode up so I can uh, get other things done. Um, so, it is done. Awesome. Let's get the Lumium. And the Flux Bore is now fully upgraded. Now, what is the modes it has? 3x3, three 5x5, three, five five, single block, tunnel, Okay, so the 5x5 five five is kind of what I wanted. It also has a much higher capacity of energy. So I'm going to charge this up. And next time, um, I'm going to do a little bit of mining off camera, I think, uh, with the Flux Bore so that I can try to get some Prosperity Shards. I'm going to continue to work on chickens. And I think next time, um, we're going to do a couple of things. One, I want to start cleaning up the base. Um, one big thing is um, we're going to get power. We're going to move all our power down here um, in terms of storage and the generators um, and all that kind of fun stuff. And then we're going to kind of make the, this machine room a little bit nicer. Uh, I also want to kind of clean this up, so I might do that off camera. Uh, that'll be easy enough to do. I just want to move the smeltery um, back more into the corner. And some of the stuff we don't really need. We have some grass blocks, I realize. Um, but we'll kind of deal with that kind of stuff later. So that is going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!